This is interesting because a new study says that men who have affairs are, get this, they're at a higher risk of breaking their penis. <laughs> and here's it's, the reason. It's, it's karma. The Karma's study says back. that extramarital Thanks, sex you, you typically happens in unusual settings, like a restroom, maybe at work or in a car. And Elevator. That, you know, one little no. slip and... You know, Ouch. things break. That's what, it's, that's what they get for messing around in the first place, though. God. So, so as our uh, penis expert, Dr. Orden, I'm there walk for us, everybody walk out us there. through this, this. People don't understand. Yes, your penis can actually break. Yes, you can fracture your penis. And as you know, with an erect penis, it gets engorged. What happens anatomically, you have internal cylinders called corpora cavernosa that engorge with blood. You have channels that go in, valves that allows us to fill up. Now, if you have an erect penis and, and you acutely bend it, you're thrusting in it and it bends, what's going to happen? Ouch. See that? It's starting to glow. Well, your penis doesn't glow, <laughs> but this is, this is the effect of what happens. It releases blood. You will bruise. Did you hear that little crack? You yeah, may, in we, fact, hear a little crack. Or even a pop. Or a pop. Yeah. You get the bruising, and it's painful. It can this is angle. A, it can angle. I mean, it'll, it'll be bent, most likely. But this is a medical emergency, and you need to be treated mm -hmm. by a, a urologist who's probably going to microsurgically repair that outer shell or covering of that internal cylinder, which is called the tunica albiginia. Mm -hmm. He needs to fix that microscopically and hopefully the penis will work again. Not to make light of this, but I can only imagine that phone call to the wife. Ooh. Your oh. husband is in the ER. He's had an accident. And she's rushing to the emergency department, walks in, honey, what happened? Uh, um, <laughs> so I, I have bad news and I have that. bad news. So yeah, really bad. If you hear this, oh. That's a bad thing. That's a bad thing. But you know, a so lot of men, this will hap it'll happen to them, and they'll go, okay, you're not sure what happened, and they may wait for the next day, and you know, damage is being done. And this can cause permanent yes. impotence. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the medications and won't a permanently help. Permanently so bent penis. Sure Do you really you think that this out. is that there's a correlation? This study looked at a very small yeah. subset. But, you know, of half, men of and the, found, half of those men were. Yeah, one of the urologists took note of, of the patients he had seen with a broken penis, half of them had been cheating. Yeah. Well, that um, says that so they that's were, what they get. Yeah, well, Karma payback. There you go. I will say this for, for anyone out there, when you are engaging in rough sex, that's when this typically happens. Say you're on a hard surface and you slip, and the you know it, it is. That's what happens. You may. Here, you need to take notes. <laughs> <laughs> I. I <laughs> Been the there, done is, that. I know. Thank worth you, Jim. <laughs> was it worth it? Well, but this can happen just as easily with your spouse. So if you decide to go a little nuts at work and you're on a desk, a desk can not commonly cause it because a desk is very hard. Yeah. Regardless of how you sustain it, a broken penis is a true medical emergency. Do seek help.